Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how the Fruity Stereo Shaper effect plugin works in FL Studio. So the Fruity Stereo Shaper is a pretty cool effect plugin that gives you quite a bit of control over your stereo sound. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the mixer matrix here. And this mixer matrix allows you to do a lot of different things with the stereo channels of your sound. The left two columns allow you to adjust what is input to the left channel of the stereo output, and the right two columns allow you to adjust what is put through the right channel of your stereo output. The leftmost fader allows you to introduce some of the information from the right channel into your left channel. And then the fader to the right of that is your left channel into the left channel. And next to that is the right channel into the right channel. And all the way at the right, you have your left channel into the right channel. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how this works. Now, by default, it will be set up so that the left channel is going through the left channel at the full level and the right channel is going through the right channel, also at the full level. So no change is applied to your sound. But I can make changes to this just by adjusting these faders. So I could mute the right channel and leave only the left. or I could mute the left channel and leave only the right. Or I could turn only the right channel into a mono waveform by routing the information from the right channel through both the left and the right channel output. Or I could do this with the left channel. And I can even do things with inverting the polarity of the output. And so this mixer matrix allows you a lot of control over the stereo image of your sound. And is definitely something you could play around with or read the manual by going down to the help option to get a few different ideas of what all you can do. And there are also some great presets um, if you go into the mixing section for the presets. And then related to the mixer matrix, you have this in out difference option. And to use this option, you'll first want to sidechain the mixer track that the stereo shaper is on to another track. So I'm gonna sidechain it to this track and I'm going to um, just make the level faders even. So the in-out difference, the first option, um, I believe will link to the master. And then if you choose the second one, it should route through that sidechain to track. And what this does is it will route the difference between the original waveform and the output from the mixer matrix through that sidechain to track. So if I leave it to the default, and there's no change in the original sound. Uh, there is going to be no difference between the original sound and the output of the stereo shaper. So nothing is going to be routed through the sidechain track. But if I were to mute one of the channels, you'll see that now the output of the stereo shaper is just the left channel. So the difference between the original sound and the output of the stereo shaper will be the right channel. And now the right channel will be put through that sidechain track. And you can see that only the right channel is playing through the sidechain and the left channel is playing through the uh, original mixer track with that stereo shaper on it. And using this just really helps you to split up your signal in a few different ways. 
You can use it to separate your sound into mid and side channels, for example. And you can hear this if I solo the mid. Or if I solo the side. And so that can be pretty useful, just to split your sound in different ways and process your sound differently. I have a different video where I go into a bit more instruction about how to set up that mid-side split, so the link for that will be in the description if that's something you're interested in. And then the last thing you have on the Fruity Stereo Shaper are the effects. And the first effect option here is a delay. And what this will do is delay either the left or the right channel. If you turn it to the right, it will delay the right channel. If you turn it to the left, it will delay the left channel. And so, you know, this is a really quick way to um, implement the Haas effect onto a mixer track. If that's something you wanted to do. And then the second effect option you have is the phase. And what this does is it changes the phases of certain frequencies in your sound. And again, if you turn it to the right, it will change the right channel. And if you turn it to the left, it will change the left channel. So you can see this if I use a saw wave. If I turn it to the right, the right channel waveform will look a bit differently and that's just because I'm changing the phases of certain frequencies of the sound. And so you could utilize both the delay and the phase for different purposes to achieve different kind of stereo widening effects. And then for both of these effects, you have the option of whether they happen pre or post. And what this means is, will they happen before what you do in the mixer matrix, or will they happen after what you do in the mixer matrix? And so you can get a better idea of how this happens if I play this sound here. You can hear the rim shot sound is in the left channel, and this other sound is in the right channel. So if I load up the mid preset, you'll hear that now they both play in the middle. Yeah, they're both centered and mono. So if I do the delay post this effect, uh, it will be after they are merged. So you'll hear both sounds play in each speaker and just be delayed. But if I do it pre the effects, you will hear one sound is played first, and then the other sound is delayed. So you hear them separately, but they are both still merged to mono because I am delaying them before merging them to mono. So whether you use the effects pre or post, what you do in the mix and matrix is up to you and up to the final sound that you want. So those are the basics on how you use the Fruity Stereo Shaper. And I think it's a really useful plugin. It has some really cool options and gives you quite a bit of control over the stereo image of your sounds. And if you don't use FL Studio, you might have something similar in your digital audio workstation. You'd just have to look into that. So hopefully this video was helpful and you can now use the Fruity Stereo Shaper in your productions.